And here in the United States, health officials are raising awareness about thyroid disease this month. The American Association of Clinical Endocrinologists estimates that approximately 15 million Americans have undiagnosed thyroid problems. Dr. Marita Ting is an associate professor of otolaryngology who works with the Head and Neck Institute at Mount Sinai Health Systems. And she's joining us here at our New York studios. Dr. Ting, welcome to Rise America. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me. You know, I think the thyroid is one of those small little organs particularly in even the endocrine system, but it's one of those organs that nobody thinks about. It's not like the heart or the lungs uh, and probably doesn't hit anybody's radar until something does go wrong. Let's first of all talk about what is the thyroid and how does it function in the body? Sure, the, the thyroid gland is located in the center of the neck, uh, below the Adam's apple and above the beginning of the collarbones. Um, it, you're right, it's a small gland. It's shaped like a butterfly. It has a right and left lobe and it's responsible for the body's metabolism, which means that it really controls a lot of different varied activities and when something goes wrong there can be a lot of different problems that are in fact kind of nonspecific. Mm -hmm. As I understand a number of things can go wrong and it can produce hyperthyroidism too much of the T4 and the exactly. other hormones that are or hypo. So what are some of the typical presenting signs when someone is having problems with their thyroid? So as I mentioned they're, they're extremely varied. Um, in a hyperactive state you can have heat intolerance, you can have anxiety, your heart races, um, you may have difficulty sleeping. With hypothyroid, there may be unexplained weight gain or slow reflexes, even memory, memory problems and cold intolerance. Um, it, it, for doctors who see patients and they have these nonspecific symptoms, uh, how often then do problems go undiagnosed that are related to the thyroid, but that might look like any number of other things. That can frequently happen, but people who see their primary care physician on a regular basis, this is something that is on your doctor's radar if it's not on yours. Mm -hmm. So most primary care physicians will screen for thyroid disorders if they suspect something because the blood test for it is very simple. Mm -hmm. I know treatments vary uh, differently whether it's hyper, too much, or hypo, not sure. enough. Um, but uh, how are the drugs on the market? What is the technology there to deal with thyroid disease? So uh, mostly the, the drugs are very tried and true. They've been used for uh, many decades and uh, the main one is replacement thyroid hormone which is chemically identical to the one uh, that your body produces. So uh, this is one that's very commonly used and very well tolerated. When someone, and that's used for someone who ha has a non-functioning or a decreased functioning thyroid gland, sure. right? Um, when, when someone uh, is in that state, can treating them with this thyroid replacement hormone uh, is that curative for them, if you absolutely, will? Absolutely, absolutely. And there are medications also which can decrease the activity of an overactive thyroid. Yeah. So my practice is actually more focused on nodules or growths uh, in the thyroid, which is something that we're focusing on this month. As you mentioned, it's Thyroid Awareness Month. And um, with January being the beginning of the year, it's a good time to think about screening either through your doctor or even using a self-exam. Other than going to the doctor, is there anything that people should do on their own? Is there a self-check that they should do or keep in mind? There is a pretty simple way that you can check yourself. It's probably not as necessary to do it regularly, such as a breast self-exam um, and other disorders that are more common, but um, you can simply look in the mirror, tilt your head back slightly, and just look at that area of the neck that I described and look as you swallow for any asymmetry. If one side is bigger than the other or you see any protrusion or lump, that may be a sign that you have a growth or, or um, a generally enlarged thyroid gland. Mm -hmm. how, how common is thyroid cancer? Thyroid cancer is perhaps more common than we recognized uh, one or two decades ago, and the stated incidence is on the rise. We think that that incidence uh, increasing is actually due to increased detection techniques because our imaging is better now. Um, people are more aware uh, of screening and people have imaging tests that may be for a different cause, for example, a, a spine MRI or a CAT scan of the neck or a ultrasound of the carotids that then incidentally pick up a thyroid problem. Mm -hmm. Something important, and as always, talk to your doctor about it, right? Yes. Dr. Marita Tang, thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Thank you, you too. This is Arise America.